There are almost triple the amount of cases of Valley Fever so far this year compared to this time last year. KSBY reporter Megan Healy joins us live in studio to break down those numbers. Megan. Richard, today there are 283 cases. That's compared to 91 cases the same time frame last year. And the health department expects even more cases the second half of this year. Valley fever, also known as coxie, is a fungus that grows in wet soil. Once the soil dries out, particles can become airborne and people sometimes inhale the spores. But it's hard to detect. In most people, it doesn't cause symptoms at all in about 60%. In 40% of people, it may look like the flu. One Templeton woman who was just diagnosed a couple days ago says basic day-to-day -day tasks are difficult. Today I took my girls just to go run a, an errand, just went to two stores, and I, was, I came home and I could barely walk. It is not contagious through human contact. If the ground is disturbed and it hasn't been for a long time, like new construction um, or even gardening, can kick up those spores and put them in the air and put people at risk. Areas near the beach like Napelmo and Pismo aren't at a high risk compared to those in more rural areas in northeastern parts of the county. But you should be cautious. When wind, big windblown dust events come and they're coming from, the, from that area, it can be anywhere. In 2017, San Luis Obispo County had the third highest number of cases, and it's not getting better. Uh, we're, we're seeing some of the worst of um, the number of cases of valley fever that we ever have. There's no vaccine, and if it goes untreated, it could be deadly in serious cases. There are no air quality warnings right now, but there are steps you can take to stay safe. If you're digging up dirt, put water on the dirt so it doesn't get picked up by wind. Stay inside if it is windy and limit your exposure to dirt. And those symptoms can be similar to the flu. They include coughing, fever, exhaustion, and painful breathing. You should ask your doctor to test you for valley fever if symptoms don't go away in a few weeks. Live in the studio, Megan Healy, KSBY News. The San Luis Obispo County Health Department tells us there have been at least six deaths from valley fever this year.